What is up YouTube? It's your boy the Young Noodler here for another video. Today we are going to be talking about slide canceling. And so most people think, yeah, slide canceling, I know about that. But it's different in Modern Warfare in Warzone and then in Cold War. And so most people, when you know how to slide cancel, you know how to do it in Warzone. And that's that right stick, right stick, A. Uh, but it's different in Cold War. And so I'm going to break down how to do this. And this weekend I found out the easiest way to do this. And it's so easy. You can do it on a scuffing controller. You can do it on a normal controller. You can do it on a Guitar Hero guitar. It doesn't matter. You're, everybody is going to be able to do this. It is so simple. So we're going to start by breaking down the clips. I'm going to show you why this matters, why you want to use it. And then we're going to get into how to do it. And that how to do it is going to take 30 seconds because, like I said, it is super simple. So, yeah, with that being said, let's jump right in. All right, so here we go. As you can see, I moved my camera way down here. And that's so you guys can see this side-by-side -side comparison a little bit better. So this tactic in Modern Warfare and Warzone, it's used to get around quicker, slide canceling, because it resets your tack sprint. Cold War does not have tack sprint, and so it's just one sprint, so it actually slows you down. So you don't want to slide cancel when you're just running around, just running a straight line if you're going from place to place. What it's used for is snapping around corners, mainly. And so in this scenario, I know or I think there's a guy camping in this corner uh, on the left side of the garage. and. and spoiler alert this is also me so i know there's a guy there and so we're gonna see we're gonna play these four clips back to back to back to back and you're gonna see in real time uh like how this looks so let's go snap right on him you guys can see it's a really snappy movement so let's see it again same thing all right and we're gonna break down after this how this is so helpful this is gonna be to the right perfect and then one more and this is gonna be a little longer range all right perfect so now we've seen all of those uh, those clips back to back to back to back. In real time, we're going to break down why this matters. So you can see it's a snappy movement and sure it looks cool. But, but how does it actually break cameras? If you've heard that break cameras before, this is what it's referring to. So here we go. We're running up and I'm sliding in, starting my slide. And we're going frame by frame here. And we're going to see when you can start to see each other. Still nothing, still nothing. On this left side, you can start to see my foot. You're not going to notice if this guy is camping in the in the garage, there's no way he's beaming me for my foot. doesn't matter. On the right side, though, you can start to see this entire guy. His, his whole left side is open. All right. Boom. You can see the entire guy. And on the left, you can only see this gun. Next frame, I'm already firing on the right side because I can see this entire body and he can only see my my shin, really. And so I'm firing and boom, now, now I'm starting to come around on that left side, but it's already too late for this guy. I am locked onto his head. Look at that. I aim in. This guy on the left does not have a chance because it's, it broke his camera. I got the first speaker's advantage. And so I am firing before he has the reaction time to kill me. Okay. And there's no way he's beaming me off that. There's absolutely no way he can beat me. So here we go. We'll go to the next one. Very similar. All these are, are the same thing you guys will see, but I just want to give you multiple examples. So here we go. And this is all lined up, by the way. I, I made sure it was the right timing, okay? So it's not, you know, off and I'm just lying to you guys. Here we go. I'm peeking around the corner. There we go. This guy is exposed on the right side. And on the left side, he cannot see a thing. He cannot see my shoe. He cannot see my gun, nothing. And on the right side, I can see his entire body. Okay, so look at that. There, now, on that left side, you can start to see my shoe. But it doesn't matter. There, he can see my name tag. It doesn't matter. I'm already locking onto this guy's head. I'm on this guy's head by the time I actually come around the corner on his screen. So, so I'm just going to finish him off. There's, there's no chance he has. Here we go, just in case you think it's only to the left. To the right, same thing. Okay, here we go. I'm breaking in. He can st start to see my leg there. He can see a little bit more on this one, but still, he's not beaming my leg. There's no chance he has to snap to my leg and get, what, six shots in by the time I'm around on his face. There we go. I can see his entire body. He can see my leg. And I, I overcorrect a little bit here, so I get off. But the point of it is, I can see his entire body. He can see my leg. Okay? So we're going to finish it off. There's no chance he has there. And here's another one from distance. Okay? We're popping around the corner. And on the right side, there he is. I can start to see him on my right at that frame. And on that frame, his entire body is exposed. On the left side, I cannot see a thing. So there it is. 
and he's start to see some or the guy on the left is starting to see something on this frame and look how exposed he is on the right guys this is not different times this is the exact same time frame i made to match it up or i made sure to match it up by the frame okay this is not off by a single frame he is entirely exposed on the right side and on the left side he cannot see anything there is no chance that this guy on the left has when i'm slide canceling around this corner absolutely none this is a seven or eight frame difference right here okay and boom now on the left he's starting to see me but it doesn't matter i'm on his head so so here we go there's the breakdown of why you want to use this by slide canceling around the corner and by snapping you can gain seven or eight frames of a difference and, and while seven or eight frames at 60 fps might not seem like a big difference I, that's what 150 milliseconds i don't know if that math is right but 150 milliseconds in a low ttk game like this is huge guys there is no chance that anyone will have against you if you do this right absolutely none so now that we've talked about why you want to use this let's go into how to use it all right guys so here we are in a custom game i'm the only one in here and i'm gonna show you guys how to do it so the first thing you want to do is go to controller settings controller and then go down to auto sprint and you want to enable auto sprint you want to make sure that's on and so it's not necessary for the rest of the game uh i recently got into it in warzone and i highly recommend it for warzone uh for quick movement there but in a multiplayer i have mixed feelings about it but just to keep it simple for my brain so i don't have it on one and not the other i turn this on and this is going to make this a lot easier it's not impossible to do with auto sprint off so if you really like uh not having that on then, then it's possible to and i'll explain it both ways so for those that have auto sprint on actually for everybody here's the difference okay so here's a normal slide you see how long that is a normal slide again okay and now here's a, a slide cancel that's it look at that difference so if i'm trying to slide past let's say i, I want to beam a guy who's like over there or something so a normal slide is going to go like that and i'm just kind of stuck in the open I'm sliding all the way to that side. He's he's just tracking me, go all the way across. This way, though. And I'm right here, okay? And, and there's no way he's seeing me, and you guys will gain that advantage that we just talked about. So, to do this, all you have to do... This is it, guys. On auto sprint, you move forward, and you double tap your slide button. You don't have to click the A button after. You don't have to learn a set of button, buttons. Nothing. You tap the slide... And, oh, make sure your tap to slide behavior is on as well. If that's not on, you guys are, are crazy, okay? But your slide should definitely be on tap to slide. Um, but you tap to slide and you tap to get up. So the quicker you can tap, the quicker you pop up. See that? Okay. That's it. That's the whole video. And now I'll explain it for the people who have auto sprint off. You have to move forward sprinting, but you have to hold the sprint button. And so it's possible it's just a little harder. I actually haven't been doing it, so I might fail on this. But auto sprint disabled. Let's see. And there you go. It's a little bit trickier, but you can still do it. So make sure that you guys are utilizing this slide cancel when there's someone around the corner or when you're trying to gain that, that first peeker's advantage because it will make all the difference for you guys. As we saw it's seven or eight frames and you guys if you guys can hit your shots after that you are not losing a gunfight if you can do that effectively on somebody i promise you because you have such a, an advantage on the other people so i'm glad i found it out i'm glad i can share it with you guys start using it and it, it seriously might be the best thing i've ever found out about cold war thanks guys and i'll catch you guys next time peace